Hello nerds, I am Dr. Shereen Idris, a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City and welcome to my YouTube channel where literally every week we debunk a skincare myth, we do a deep dive into an ingredient story, we try to understand different skin conditions and how you can help yourself at home. But what's very interesting is I have received a lot of questions from you guys in the comments section about what are in-office procedures that could be helpful to us, especially when it is surrounding skin redness, fine lines and hyperpigmentation. So I thought to myself that we would do something a little bit different today and we would actually go into an exam room and into a treatment room and actually treat a patient together, trying to tackle all of the above in one. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the main skin concerns that you guys always ask me about are fine lines, pigmentation and redness. And we have spoken at length about how you guys can help yourselves at home. But the truth is skincare can only do so much. At a certain point, you might need a boost or you might need a needle or you might need an extra laser treatment in order to get to the end result that you want. And that's okay. As long as you recognize that you are doing your part and really working with your skin in order to achieve your goal. So in office, my goal is to try to help you guys get there to jumpstart it or to finesse what you guys have already achieved through your skincare product use. I'm not here to tell you guys that you need laser procedures in office, but I'm here to say that laser treatments in office are a perfect adjunct to really intensify the results that you guys are getting from your skincare at home. Um, which is funny because there was one comment once from a person saying, oh, Idris just basically uh, promotes skincare and acts like she doesn't do anything in office. When that's absolutely not true, I've always said that the complement of the two is the perfect marriage because what you can't get from skincare, you get from a boost from in-office laser treatments. But laser treatments alone are never gonna give you long-term results if you're not doing your part at home with skincare. So it really is the perfect yin to the yang. Um, now, in-office, you guys are asking me about those three components, fine lines, redness, and pigmentation. So I was thinking of, to myself, what do I offer here in my practice that can target all three of those different components in a single treatment session? because there are lasers that address each one of those specific skin concerns, but how can we target all three of them at once? It is through the use of two treatment modalities. And before I jump into those two treatment modalities, let's take a quick step back. So lasers are a broad term that everybody uses, but is often used incorrectly. A laser is technically a single wavelength of light that targets an endpoint. And usually the endpoint is one of three things. Red blood cells for redness, pigmentation for brown spots, and water for collagen production. They are extremely specific. And light, an IPL, also known as intense pulsed light, is not a laser, it's a light treatment. And an IPL is interesting because it can hit various wavelengths at once, targeting one of the three, two of the three, or all three of the three at once. The downside of the IPL is that it's not as specific as the laser, but you can get a little bit of everything in one. And that's like washing a wall before you paint it. And third is heat energy-based devices, utilizing either radio frequency or ultrasound energy heat in order to contract and tighten, which can help with the crinkling, the crepiness, and the fine line production. So now that you have a basic overview, when you're trying to target redness, brown spots, and fine lines, a laser alone is not gonna hit all three of those things. So marrying an IPL to a heat energy-based device can help you target all three of those in order to boost your at-home skincare regimen. And in my practice, I offer what I call a smooth glow treatment in which I combine a treatment, an IPL treatment with radio frequency through microneedling. So you are both evening out your skin tone and tightening your collagen at once. So I'm going to jump in and share with you guys various clips of a patient um, that has allowed me to record one of her three sessions. We have done on this patient now three sessions over the last three months, based one month apart of the Smooth Glow treatment. And I recorded, I believe this was probably my first or my second session with her, and she has given me consent to utilize these videos 
for this video. Um, so without further ado, this is an example of the patient receiving the first part of the smooth glow treatment. As you can see, her eyes are covered and she has a thin layer of gel protecting her face. The gel is there not just to protect her face from the heat of the intense pulsed light, but also to deliver a more even energy across her skin. Now, IPL devices, there are many different machines and devices on the market, but they're not all equally effective. And this is a very important point because unlike a laser, an IPL is a multitude of wavelengths, whereas a laser is a single wavelength and can be calibrated to that single wavelength. An IPL is so many different wavelengths that it's very, very important that the device is specific with the filters in delivering the specific wavelength of light to target one of the three end targets that we talked about, pigmentation, redness, or collagen. So personally, my personal favorite device is this one by Luminous that I just showed you guys. It is one that I have used for over a decade, to be very honest. Uh, this is obviously the, more, the newer version on the market. It is the Luminous the M22. Um, and I love it because it is not only consistent in the results, it is also patient safe because the biggest risk with an IPL is burning given the intensity of the pulsed light. And if the wavelength is not specific with the filters and you use it on a darker skin tone, the risk of pigmenting because of a burn gets higher. So you have to be very, 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 very um, picky as a consumer as to which IPL device you're, you're seeking out. And the one that I love for my patients is this one by Luminous. So that is the first part of the treatment. You're gonna feel, um, I would best describe it if you are slightly you know, claustrophobic, it's that intensity can be a little bit intimidating and overwhelming once the light is pulsed. And you do feel that heat, but the gel is cooling and the tip of the IPL device is a piece of glass that actually cools as well. So you're not actually burning. It is a non-ablative, non-invasive treatment. Once that treatment is done, we wipe off the gel completely and then we go into the microneedling radio frequency portion of the treatment. And this one I have in office also by Luminous, their legend. In order to fully understand how radio frequency works, an understanding of the skin structure is important. And the most important thing here is collagen. Collagen is a protein molecule not only found in our skin, but also found in our muscles, in our bones, and in our tendons. But collagen is what gives our skin the structural support it needs to look firm and plump and give it that tighter looking appearance. Now it is found in the dermis of our skin, the part underneath the epidermis, so it's giving us that support. As you can see in this video, we are stamping the patient's face slowly over time, and this is helping deliver controlled amounts of radio frequency energy into that top layer of the dermis. And this form of energy produces heat, and this heat penetrates your collagen to not only contract and tighten it, but also to stimulate more collagen production over time. But collagen takes time, and so the results of these treatments do take up to six months for full effect. Now, what is a patient to anticipate? After each treatment, you're going to be really red, I think more pink from the microneedling portion of the treatment, not so the IPL portion, and you're going to feel a little bit bumpy and grainy. Um, but that is gonna heal over the course of four to five days. In order for the full results to be achieved, you're gonna to have to wait the full six months because like anything good in life, good results take time. But this is where you utilizing the right skincare as an adjunct is super important. So what kind of post-treatment tips do I recommend? Within that first week of healing, when you're gonna feel a little bit bumpy from the microneedling itself, and you're gonna be a little bit more red, your whole goal is to soothe and calm your skin down. You wanna use very, very gentle products. So we're gonna wash with a very, very gentle cleanser. I love the Vanna Cream Cleanser for this reason because it is extremely basic. That being said, this is not the time when you're gonna be using major, major makeup that you have to really use a stronger cleanser to get that makeup off. So very, very light makeup throughout the day so that Vanna Cream can just be enough for you. Number two, you wanna use a very gentle moisturizer. I love Avino's Calm and Restore moisturizer for this reason. I think it is extremely soothing and calming because it is loaded with colloidal oatmeal and it has panthenol in it and it is hydrating enough. If you need something more, then Biafine is also a great one to add post-procedurally to help with skin healing because we have created tiny wounds through the process of microneedling. 
And third, um, sunscreen. Sunscreen is paramount. It is key. You definitely need to be including a sunscreen in your skincare routine. If you have very sensitive skin, and I think just anytime you're breaking the skin barrier, a physical sunscreen with zinc or titanium is preferred over a mineral one. I personally get very sensitive, especially around my eyes with mineral sunscreens. So I love the one by Isden. There, I'm gonna butcher how I say this, Erifotona Ageless Ultra Light Tinted Mineral SPF, because it doesn't look cakey, especially that your skin is gonna feel more textured um, post-treatment in the first week. Um, so what do you need to avoid? I would avoid exfoliating with a chemical exfoliant. You're going to be burning and over tingling and you might irritate your skin more. And I would definitely avoid a retinol in the first week post-treatment um, to avoid any sort of, and to minimize any sort of irritation and to make your skin, that would make your skin more inflamed. So I would have definitely avoid those two and keep it just very simple and very basic with a wash, a moisturizer and sunscreen. Um, like I said, uh, three treatments is usually what I recommend for patients. So we really give them the full result. But I say do three and then stop and see. And stop and see at least for six months so we can see what you look like six months post-treatment compared to when you started. Um, this is also when your skincare game needs to be at its peak um, post-treatment to really give yourself the chance of getting the best results from the treatment itself. So you want to focus it on not only hydrating and soothing uh, ingredients, but you also want to gear your treatment to evening out your pigmentation. Um, and we've done a full video on that prior, but you guys can always scroll back to watch that and to how to build a stronger foundation. So including retinols, including growth factors, including peptides um, to help your skin build a stronger foundation over time. And the end results are really supposed to be a better, more rested, smoother, and brighter looking you. Um, and that can only happen with a combination of not just the laser treatment, but also your um, efforts with your skincare products. To recap, here are pictures of the patient before, during, and after her treatments, the series of three, where you can see the clear difference in her skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video where we kind of took it a little bit into the exam room to show you guys the full effect of what a laser quote unquote treatment is utilizing a light device, the IPL, the one by Luminous and the Legend Pro, which is their micro needling and radio frequency combination. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to know more about other treatments that I offer in office, or you want to know more about other laser treatments that I may not offer in office, but I'm happy to speak about, please leave comments below and we will address in an upcoming video. Have a great Saturday.